Hey everyone, we're doing a different curl and iron today. As you can see this one, we're going to put a link in the description. So if you want to use this particular one, as you can see the barrel goes from like, I guess, I don't know how you would say that. It's almost like a, a spindle, but I'm also using a glove because it gets hot on the end. So you'll see me when I do her hair and we will put uh, one that you could find on Amazon. So if you do want to pick it up, please do. As you can see, this is what I'm doing. I'm st starting at the very top of her hair. And I am spinning it around. Let me see. I'm trying to get to the scalp too without burning her. But I'm just twirling it around. She does have long hair, but she loves curls, so here we go. And there's her curl. We're going to do another one right up front. And we're starting at the root, as you can see. And I'm just twirling it around and around and around, trying not to burn her scalp because I try to get close enough where she's got some body at the beginning of her hairline. And just hold it on there for like 30 seconds. And do you see that pretty curl? Look at this pretty curl. So, if you want to do something special for the prom, or a night out on the town, or it's your birthday, definitely pick up one of these. All right, I'm going to continue to do it all the way around her head, and I'll show you, like, you just get it close to the scalp as possible, and you're just going to wind her hair around and around and around and around and around, and then you just hold it the very tip. And there it is. Okay, let's see. She's got so much hair. This is a great party hairdo, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying not to burn her. Just about twirling it around and around, especially if you have long hair like she does. I'm trying to keep it tight without her screaming. <laughs> She's not screaming. Okay, I'm going to do this all the way around her hair. I'm probably not going to keep you on here, but we'll show you a couple more. And then we'll show you the finished product. Now, definitely gonna need a glove with this. Okay, we're like at the last two. And then we will be done and she will have a head filled with beautiful curls. Trust me, her hair is beautiful to begin with. And was this a little bit tedious? Yeah but the results are fabulous. And this is the last one. Oh no, I might do 
to it with this one. <laughs> it's not the last one. It's next to the last one. Because sometimes the smaller pieces of hair that you take, the curlier it gets. So as you can see, it falls off too, which is good to see. I'm going to start this one over because you have to really hold it tight because it does fall off. If I turned it up this way, it wouldn't fall off as much. But I should count how many times I go around. And the last one, everyone. Pretty soon you will see the results. Wrap this around. Oops. I feel like I've got a piece of string. I'm wrapping it around a kite string. You know, you pull your kite back in. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. You can show off your beautiful curls. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a lot of them, huh? Yeah. Tons. It like, goes all the way down. Those are pretty. Are they pretty? Yeah. Yeah, let them see them. Maybe you can stand up and walk back or something. Yeah. There you go. And they can see them. There you go. Mm -hmm. These they are really pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous curls. So we will link in the bottom of where the curling iron came from and if you want to do your hair like that, please do. So I just took a brush and ran some of it through a lot of the curls. So that way it gives it more volume than it had before. Because while the other ones were really pretty, they were extremely tight. Which made them all look like my hair was really thin. Even though it's really not. <laughs> so <laughs> I just ran a brush through it. And that pretty much just gave it back the volume that it normally has.